Chris Jericho comes out, gets a pretty baby face reaction. Gets him to boo when he talks about Calgary, though, and some people were confused about that. Uh, Calgary and Edmonton have a fierce hockey rivalry. So that's why they booed when he mentioned Calgary. Not They were not booing Stu Hart, I promise you. Um, but then the guy they were dying to boo did come out, and that's Don Callis. And he made an offer to Jericho that Jericho, well, how do you feel about how Jericho responded to this offer, Kelson? I was kind of disappointed in that I just wanted him to say either yes or no instead of maybe because this is just setting up one of those Tony Khan slow burn things uh, that just could go on for seemingly forever. You know, I just, I, I, I honestly want it to be over now. I really hope that he says yes, simply because I've never been a fan of the Jericho Appreciation Society. You know that. It's, it's a wasteful faction. It's a waste of talent. Uh, it's going nowhere. It's bringing, right now, Garcia and Sammy are the best talents in that Jericho Appreciation Society, and they're going nowhere as long as they're in it. Uh, so I was hoping you would say yes or no, just so that we could move on. We got a maybe. Lovely. Yeah, let's let's actually bring the the Sammy and Daniel aspect of it in, and just talk about it all at once here. Uh, Caleb, it looks like we're gonna get maybe Sammy and Daniel Garcia going out on their own soon. It looks like they're trying to lay the groundwork for the breakup of the JAS here. What do you think about all that? This is one of the other teams I could see winning the Eliminator Tournament. Um, I do want the JAS to be completely done. I think this is the best way to do it. So whether that just be Sammy and Danny going off on their own, doing their own thing in the tag division, because the tag division does need some new blood. Uh, Whether it be Sammy and Danny feuding, because that would also showcase two of your best young talents that you have in AEW. There's so many directions they can go with this. I'm glad that they're getting away from Jericho. I'm after the promo Jericho had with Callis. I'm not mad that we're not going to get Sammy versus Jericho at this exact moment because a Sammy Danny Garcia story is going to be fun, regardless which direction they go. I'm, I'm very, very excited for it. All right, Absolute Rollins is about to jump through his computer screen to talk about this. So come on in here, bud. What you got? What was the point of the Sammy Guevara Chris Jericho promo battle a few weeks ago? Are we just going to completely not go through with that story? Like, I, th- I was so looking forward to this feud. And now they're just like, nah, we're going to go off in a different direction. First, we got the whole thing with Jericho and Sting, which was absolutely pointless. Now we're doing this thing with Jericho and Don Callis, which, no thank you. Um, Not interested. But what was the point of the whole Jericho Guevara thing a couple weeks ago? I want to see that feud. There's so much history you could do. The promos they would cut on each other would be fantastic. You know the match would absolutely bring the house down. Given what Sammy Guevara can do, you know what Jericho's going to do in the ring. I don't get why we just completely forgot about this feud. Um, And, you know, we've talked about this in the past. Jericho does his job of putting people over, and then from there, you know, that person who got put over by Jericho doesn't continue their momentum, i.e. my favorite wrestler. I'm finally going to bring him up. Absolute Ricky Starks. That's my only mention of him tonight. So I'm going to keep it that way. But you mentioned earlier, Action Andretti. Has he really benefited from beating Jericho? No. So, I'm... But overall, I need to see this feud between Sammy Guevara and Chris Jericho. I don't want to see this whole Chris Jericho, Don Callis storyline. No thank you. I I understand there's a frustration with AEW teasing a feud and then not doing it, but 
we did just talk about Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland. This is a thing that Tony Khan does, and it's infuriating. <laughs> so, um, Sleazy, what do you got on this? Well, I will say, when the promo ended between Jericho and Don Callis, I crossed out Sammy Guevara as a pillar for about however long the gap was between the promo and the Sammy Guevara Daniel Garcia bit until the Daniel Garcia and Sammy Guevara bit happened where it seems like the story is going to take a direction where Sammy Guevara can finally fly away from Chris Jericho because I think Jericho's actually having a bit of a turn right now and the storytelling potential here is something unique that we're all not seeing here it's let's just say it's a dad finally realizing okay these guys are 18 i should leave them alone now they need to they need to fly this is the story that i'm seeing here if they go with this it'll be pretty unique story if you ask me and you know sammy guevara daniel garcia feud has limitless possibilities like oh my god the fantasy booking potential is endless but yeah, I, I will say that they can find a way to make this work. And I feel like I know the way they're going to make it work with the, the example that I just gave. So hopefully it all works out that way. Plenty of fancy booking potential. All right, Shane, close it out. What do you think of all this? Great. It's fantastic. Let Jericho break up the JAS. Let people get mad about it. Let's see some di uh, different direction AEW storytelling. Let him join Don Callis. Let's see what happens going into All In. I mean, Jericho and Kenny Omega. Oh, God, I'm going to eat these words. In Japan was the biggest thing to happen in Japan in 2017. <laughs> and it, it, and uh, it could be a huge thing in All In and Wembley, or they could take it in a uh, direction of a feud between factions and dump, finally dump on the BCC, which we definitely need a departure from at some point. So um, I'm going to put my foot in my mouth and dip. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I think we talked about Jericho last week and the wins over him not being utilized very well. If they're going to go a different route and he's just going to let him go, that could be unique and give them a chance to just get over on their own even more without him having to, like, do the job to someone. Because if they're not going to, if they, if he's going to do a job and they're not going to use it well, then why should he do the job? I mean, if I was Jericho, I'd stop doing the jobs. 